Hey Trubish Show fans, it's Brianna here. I just wanted to talk to you about Millions of Kisses for Millions of Fishes, an organization that is very dear to my heart. Each year, at least 27 fishes that are kept as house pets die from rabies, and their owners are usually brought down with them. Innocent children and fish die every year from this tragic event, and this is why I started Millions of Kisses. Millions of Kisses raises money to help rabied fish die in the most peaceful way possible, thus preventing them from hurting others, but we can't do it alone. And that is why we are asking you to send us a kiss for your innocent fish. And when I say kiss, I mean cash. If you care about a fish, more like if you care about children, you will send $20 to me, Brianna of The Truma Show. Your donation could very easily be used to ease the suffering of a fish, save a child from death, or just buy me that really cute pair of shoes. One of those 27 fish is going to die very soon, and we want it to be happy when it does. Welcome back after weeks and weeks of no new episodes. The reason behind the episode shortage basically is that uh, Brianna went missing for most of the month and we finally tracked her down to some cave in Day City which does not exist. So we are now back on the streets of Day City interviewing random people asking random questions. Is that a lizard? And apparently we have a lizard on set. I hate lizards. I mean, I love him because God Security, made him, but... Security, you got a lizard on set. Can you please I'm get him? I'm just going to stand here. Moved? <laughs> I think that summarizes it all. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I was kidnapped by a hobo, and his name was not Truvis. And um, he locked me in a cave, and they only fed me cotton candy, so I might have gained a few pounds. But, um, so what's been new in our lives since the last episode, you say? Well... I'm still going to the advanced school, but I really miss my friends back here, so I can't wait to come back. And um, I, I, I put my hair lighter, um, working its way back to my natural color, blonde. Um, I, I had a D in Spanish for like a week, but um, I brought that grade up. Trubis? I can't speak about it. We'll speak about something else then. I can't talk about it. Um, I, I, I let the show down. I can't talk about it. It's, I it's emotional. Okay. No, maybe we can talk about it later. <laughs> it's just too much. It's okay. Let it out. Tell it, me about it. It's it. just too much. It's just... Oh, I can't take it. It's just too much. Um, I haven't had a boyfriend since Turkey. I've been staying single and good. Um, what else is new with me? Um, this could go for another 30 minutes. You might want to cut now. We are here live with these uh, shoes. These shoes, actually. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. were just walking downtown, Dade City, and we found these shoes on the middle of the road. And apparently they're free. Let's yeah. see what size they are. I don't want to touch inside because I don't know what else. They look to be like 13 and a half. Um, no, 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 no. 10. They're size 10s. Well... We're so if perfect. you have any any size ten feet, feel free to walk to the Yeah, we're like down right across this uh, church on Church Street, no doubt. So yeah, these are the lines for today. So you are supposed to tell them. Well, okay, cut. Let's cut that out. We'll put that in the blue. What color is your toothbrush? Blue, and white. It's blue and white. Um, can you elaborate like more about like what it looks like, like where the colors are on it? The bristles are half white, half blue. And the label of it is Colgate, and that's in gray, I mean silver. And on the sides, where the grip is, it's blue, and then the rest of it's white. Okay. What matters more in life, clowns or unicorns? Unicorns, they're prettier. Okay, we can do that. Did you get that? Yeah, we're good. Oh. Let's go. According to the Asian proverb, what does a coffee elephant say? I 
try another one. Um, what do the letters LPH stand for? You can't, you don't, you don't know? I can be a pervert and answer. <laughs> well, it's for church, so we got it That's on. <laughs> Why so? Because they're all people. They're all people? Okay. Thank you. In seven words or less, express your feelings on recent popular activity of smoking wild flowers and berries. Okay, um, as in how, I'm not really... As in, like, how do you feel about it? Like, do you think, like, those people, like, they need to be punished, or...? Yeah, they do. But, or, no, actually, no. No, actually, really, it's like, you know, it doesn't matter, because they're crazy anyway, probably, so... It's kinda, okay. Like, whatever. Okay, thank you. How has the color blue impacted your life? Why didn't you ask me that one? <laughs> well, color blue has pretty much affected my life because it's pretty much my favorite color and I don't know, it's just blue. cool color to me. Do you think from now on when you hear the color blue you're going to think about me? Maybe? Sure. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Who was the 13th Prime Minister of Peace of Antarctica? <laughs> Chad Griswold. So, okay, tell us about him. Uh, he was kind of tall. Tall, had dark hair. Smart. <laughs> um, do you, well, you think he really benefited the? Peace in Antarctica? Yeah, there's a lot of violence in there, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, if you were to come here, would you would you think you'd recognize him on the street? Probably not. Probably not. Well, what kind of car do you think he drives? I don't know. Uh, I'm saying a minivan. Sounds like a good car for Antarctica. Alright, thank you. How old were you when you first said chunga tamale? Chunga tamale? I've never said chunga tamale. 16. Never in your life? Okay, well, what color is your toothbrush? Green. Wait, wait, wait. It depends on which one you're talking about because I have a green one in my book bag. I've got a pink and white one on my dresser. I got a blue and white one on my nightstand. And then in my bathroom, that was green too. Okay. And we have one more. According to the Asian proverbs, what does a coughing elephant symbolize? What is an Asian proverb? <laughs> uh, a coughing elephant? An elephant that's coughing? Okay, thank you. Alright, this place was um, where it all began. Where I first met David at this, you know, very awkward homeschool meeting. David, I love you. We first met here. Oh. Mm.